Okay, I'm going to show you how I listen to my scanner um, aircraft with ADS-B. And it's a real set, easy setup. Uh, this is a free ADS-B off the internet, okay? And this is where you go. And I'll put it over here for now. Now, I've got a lot of commercial aircraft in my area. It's a little bit quiet right now. And I've got a lot of military too at times. And this is what I use. And I'm going to do one on the Buffalo International Airport that is right here. Okay? That's Buffalo International Airport. And I've got their frequencies in my scanner. And I can watch them take off and land. There's one on the ground right now. At 2.30, they're going to um, have Southwest Airlines come in and one take off. I think that's probably, I don't know if that's the one that's going to take off or not. But I like using this because I can see the aircraft and listen to them at the same time. <clears throat> now, the other thing I like using this for is my military aircraft because I live in Fort Erie, right here at Fort Erie Buffalo, and I get a lot of military aircraft. I think that's one up there, there's another one over there, and over Lake Erie too. Now you can see there's a lot of aircraft out in the air. There's a lot of people who think that because of COVID-19, there's nothing out there. But uh, right now, there's 6,600 aircraft being tracked. And what you see here is 317. Now when I tighten this up, and they're all over here too, okay? And when I tighten this up, they start disappearing over here. And it's just showing these ones over here, okay? Now, there are times when I listen to military and I hear them doing maneuvers. It could be uh, refueling or whatever. And here's how you get to military, okay? This is commercial and military. You just go up here and you click on the U. And everything's going to disappear. Get out of there. Except military. Now, this is the military around me. Okay, I didn't bring it out. There's a whole pile of military in the air. But I'm just looking for my stuff. There we go. And it shows me over here what's in the air. H-60 is the helicopter. Uh, C-130. DC-10s. K-35R. That's a tanker. Okay, refueler. And this one here. Where... Okay, he's way down here, and you can see he's 315 miles away from me. And the other one, over here, he's 345 away from me. This helicopter, right here, H60, and you get the little picture over here. Sometimes when you click on over here, sometimes they show you a nice picture of it. Sometimes. <laughs> A lot of things you can do, you can turn on toggles, okay, this, this, and uh, labels, okay, and you can go down. Now, there's a help file and there's a fact right here, so you can figure out things. I like turning on the aircraft trails, see what they're doing out there. Now, how I can tell if they're doing maneuvers, this one is just messing around a little bit. He's just got in the air. Uh, let's see. How about you? Okay. He's doing a little bit of maneuvering out there. How about this one? No. And I'll show you what it looks like. A few days ago, I was listen to aircraft and these are our uh, captures and this is what it looks like 
This is out of Detroit. He was all over the place. Uh, that, I believe, was a K-35 refueler doing maneuvers. This one up here was a Canadian C-30J and he was doing maneuvers and here's another one a lot of action going on down there and this one was only 39 miles away from me I'm just over here I listened to him on the military channel uh, him talking I believe he was talking to Hamilton Ontario and uh, he was up for quite a while and this is a C-130. There it is right there, Hercules. Uh, let's see. Here's some more. Do maneuvers. And this one. These two I listened to, too. They were at uh, CFB Trenton Military Base. And they were doing touch and go. So you can see them over here, C-30s. And they're Hercules. And they were just following each other around. Touch down, jump back up, touch down, jump back up. And I was listening to them on my uh, on my frequency for Trenton, Ontario, military base. And uh, distance is wrong. I didn't have the distance set properly. But uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, this is live, okay? And... Uh, Yeah, this guy's up for a romp. And this is, uh, again, the Hercules. Came out and went around. And he's 109 miles away from me. I could pick him up on my uh, military frequencies if I have the right one. And he's talking. As I said, he came out of uh, CFB Trenton. So it's really interesting to be able to watch them and uh, listen to it on your scanner. Now I'm going to go back to all aircraft. And there he is up there. And they do a lot of search and rescues on Lake Ontario, Lake Erie. What I'm waiting for is, where is, there is she, is, Buffalo International Airport. Now, there's, um, Southwest Airlines going to be landing in a boat. Oh, let's see, what time is it? Two, four, about another 15 minutes. And there's going to be a Southwest taking off. And I'll show you, um, I can follow them, even on the ground. I'm going to pause this. And why I can do that is because I'm only, the way the crow flies, like seven miles away from Buffalo International Airport. There's my home right there. So, sorry about that. That was my phone going off. So I'm going to pause this. And when those planes start coming into Buffalo and taking off, I'll show you what it looks like. And I'll turn on my scanner so um, I can hear them too. So let me pause this, and um, I'll start it up when the planes come in. Where are you? This is a plane on the ground. We were on tack air ramp or cargo ramp? Okay, 3515, Southwest. Oh, where is he? I don't see him. Um, I'm 
I'll do a search. There he is, way down there. Oh, that can't be him. There he is, right there. Ah, here he comes. He's way down here. Okay. If you want, proceed direct to Depew to send a maintain 4000. So he's still 42 miles out from me, 12,000 feet, and he's dropping. He's coming into Buffalo International. So we'll just stay with him. Uh, as I said, I can see the planes on the ground, they go gray because I'm so close to Buffalo International Airport. And there's one. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> they pop up and pop out sometimes because of the weather. And uh, yeah, he's not squawking. Southwest 3551. And he's 36 miles out. And you can see when they start dropping altitude, this little arrow goes down. And I've got my scanner on. And there's that plane again, it just came up. That's FedEx 1578 on the ground. He's squawking now. That's why we're picking him up. I think he's getting ready to take off, too. And this one over here is United Airlines, UAL. He's at 39,000 feet. This helicopter. 700. And I can see the helicopters in the air when it's busy. Um, taking tourists around Niagara Falls and that. And you can see the trails and everything. I'm on the going there. Right there. And no. This helicopter's been around. And you can turn stuff off. You can turn stuff on. And uh, it's pretty simple to run. But there's several others you might try online too. But this is the one I like. Uh, it's a new guy on the block. And there is the uh, website. And as I said, um, it's got a fact up here. It tells you what everything is, labels and everything. Okay, that's very helpful. And it's got help files. Uh, which is good. But what I really like about it, it's easy to go from commercial, military, just to military. He's still out. I'll, I'll flip it over to military. And let's see. Yeah, there's a helicopter over there in Detroit. Here's this guy flying around the circles. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to bring him up over here, too. Whoops. No. Sorry about that. There it is. Yeah, that's that Hercules. So let's go back. And get that Southwest Airlines. There he is. And he is... 22 miles out. We should be hearing something pretty soon on the uh, scanner. That's where he's going. And uh, if you get the right frequencies in the area, like 
got my area here, um, I've got all the frequencies. Niagara Falls, and Tondawanda, I get out to Batavia, Rochester, then into Canada, Hamilton, Burlington, Mississauga, all up through there. Um, I get down into Cleveland, Ohio, right down around here. Um, I've got Cleveland uh, tower frequencies. I pick them up once in a while, but I hear the planes coming into Cleveland and that. And same with Toronto. Toronto, um, I don't pick up the towers. Um, it's too far away. I'm down here. And, uh, but I pick up the planes coming in. But I like picking up both sides of the conversations. That's what I like about um, Buffalo International and uh, Niagara Falls International Airport. Let's see what's going up here. We still got some time before that plane comes in. There goes a plane taking off right there. Air Canada, ACA, 45-4, he just took off. I don't have him turned on because I want to concentrate on uh, Buffalo, but I would hear him now. And these are all planes on the ground, and you can watch them taxiing around and everything. There's one taxiing right there, and it tells you they're on the ground. These ones are squawking. This one, speed. So they're moving around. And anything coming in? No, nope, nothing coming in. Another airport over here. Let's get up here and see what our plane is doing. Southwest 3551. He is 14 miles up. Here. It's very, very uh, dead today. Um, very quiet. 551, descend and maintain 2,300. There he is. Okay, the ground ones are coming up too. This one's getting ready to take off, I believe over here. I believe that's the southwest. I don't know. No? FedEx. This takes up a lot of time. If, if you're bored, got nothing to do, uh, kill some time. Uh, I'm moving all around, but usually I just leave it like this. And um, I don't have to sit in front of it because any planes coming in, I'll hear it on my scanner. And I can uh, just go over and take a look at the map. The other thing I do is, uh, sorry about that, my phone getting text is coming in. Um, I put it on my 55-inch uh, television and I can sit in my armchair and watch it. <laughs> Somebody wants to talk to me. Uh... Now what he has to do... 3551, airport, 10 o'clock, 8 miles. 3551, clear visual, clear turn away 32, contact tower 120.5. Clear visual, clear turn away 32, over to tower, south of 3551. Okay. So I believe he's coming in this way. Like when they come over my house, my apartment building, I should say, they come up this way. They fly right over my apartment. 3551, let's base runway 32. Southwest 3551, Buffalo Tower, runway 32, wind 290 at 10, gust 23, clear to land. Runway 32, Southwest 3551. Okay. And um, they come right across where I am. And I can look out on my uh, balcony and see them fly by and they land, they land on this runway. This guy coming in, I think he's going to use this runway. And then at night, they come all the way around and come back. 
to a lab this way. It's really neat to watch him. Here he is. He should be making a turn very shortly. And uh, the military, I really enjoy watching the military and listening to them. There, he's making his turn now. And he's coming in. So, I thought I'd show you this. See if you want to give it a try. <clears throat> somebody taxing too. That's probably FedEx. There's two on the ground. And you'll see it'll start uh, moving. And he'll be coming up here. And as, as I was saying, it's a good way to kill time. And I throw this onto my 55-inch television and just sit back and have a beer or whatever and, and just listen to it and watch the planes come in. There he is right there. Now he's taxing. He'll be taken out very shortly. He'll come up here. He'll come in. Yeah. Neat, eh? Why well, I can see all the action on the, um, as I said a couple times now, uh, on the ground is because it's close to me. Okay. He's moving at 10. And when he lands, he'll turn gray, like this. And here you go. And now he's coming up. Click on him. Delta Airline. DAL, Delta Airlines. him take off and I'll call it a day on this. I used to um, have my own ADS. And have my antenna on the side, but this picks up a lot more. I used to get out about 200 miles with an antenna. Um, I put it away because I'm using this all the time. And here he goes. And you can see him up here. So I don't use my antenna anymore. I just use this stuff. Uh, waste of money. I think the antenna was a hundred and something dollars. 
And uh, I used to get out a uh, little 200 to 250 miles around me. I was really surprised. And there he goes. That's Delta Airlines 1790. And that's what it's like. Um, as I said, uh, okay, and uh, it really kills a lot of time. He'll make his left hand turn now. And uh, it's really nice. So, I think that's long enough, eh? Give you an idea of what it's like. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you're into um, military, military and commercial airlines, uh, this is this is a way to uh, check them out. Okay, uh, enjoy your uh, scanner and take care. Contact Cleveland Center 125.2.